Hi guys, um, I've been toying with an idea of going on a long, long, long journey in EVE and um, a little bit of adventure. And so I thought what ship would be best suited for that kind of aspiration? And I think the Gnosis. And so I've been playing with EFT and I've come up with this fit. And I'm just going to see how far it's going to take us throughout um, New Eden. Uh, maybe delve into some wormholes, see where those wormholes lead to. Um, let's see some of the furthest reaches of Nullsec. So the Gnosis is quite handy because it has a 900 meter cubed um, cargo space which is quite nice and if we fill it up with some cargo um, medium cargo a standard cargo container cargo containers because the cargo containers the volumes 325 meters but you get 390 meters and so it's a little bit like Doctor Who's TARDIS in that there's more space inside than on the outside so if we use that 900 meters and by putting in loads of cargo containers we get a lot more space so that gives us a bit of endurance in terms of um, where we can store our, our things on a long long journey um, so the fit we've got a gravity capacitor upgrade too and currently they're about 9 million um, and that helps our sister's expanded code, expanded probe launcher. Yep. And we have a scan range finding array. So those three things together with um, sister's probes mean that, and the bonus of the ship, the natural bonus of the ship as well, mean that we've got some really, really good, strong scanning potential on the ship. I like the combat probes because I've actually made a lot of money just going from system to st system having a look to see what drones have been left behind and it's really really surprising I even came across quite a few geckos um, recently and in Nullsec uh, sorry in Losec I was also uh, stumbled on a load of fighter drones as well and they're, they're worth like 20-30 million each as well so you can actually pick up a lot of um, ISK by scanning down um, and scavenging basically living life as a scavenger so that that's what this ship is it's a scavenging ship um, and it's also a um, exploration ship because we've got our tech 2 relic analyzer data analyzer we've got a bit of a buffer on here in terms of the shield tank the Gnosis is great because it's um, if we just have a look at the stats it's it's a bit of a it can do everything ship um, you don't need any skills it's a low skill ship because the the actual bonuses come with the ship itself so you've got a 25 percent bonus to all of the different weapon types including um, drones 50 percent drones hit points and damage 25 percent to medium energy turrets medium hybrid turrets medium projection projectile turrets um, you got a 25% bonus to missiles, so that's all of the main weapon types uh, it caters for uh, without you having to have uh, your own avatar skills, the bonuses come with the ship and then it's got a natural 37.5 bonus to core and combat scanner probe strength as well so being a Jovian ship it's it's quite nice in, in terms of that respect So. Yes, this is a scanning ship. This is a relic analyzer, data analyzer. Um, we have a little bit of um, EHP from the damage control because it has omni damage resists across the board. And so by having that damage control, we're getting a fair chunk of buffer. That's the, the main. Um, EHP for the whole fit. So if we do um, 
accidentally come across a gate camp in Nullsec or something like that, then that gives us a little bit of buffer if they're smart bombing battleships on uh, gates in Nullsec again. Or that's going to give us a, a that and the large shield extender is going to give give us a, a little bit of buffer. We've got some warp core stabs there just in case we get scrammed on gates. Um, if we get bubbled on gates, I'm hoping that the medium micro jump drive can get us out of trouble. Um, Coprocessor just to get the um, CPU up on the, the because it's quite a tight fit for CPU on this ship with the expanded probe launcher. And we've got a nano in there because actually the Nossus for a battleship, sorry, battle cruiser sized vessel is very agile, um, which again helps exp um, in the exploration sites because with the micro warp drive, the nano is quite nimble um, in the exploration sites, but it's also nimble on the gate and then on the gates. And then we've also got low friction nozzle joints to help with the agility as well. Then it's got a chunky um, drone bay, so all I've got in there are some Vespa ECM 600s, some medium ECM drones, just in case we really get into trouble. I, you know, we we would have to have a scram on us, a um, a warp disruptor on us, but then if there's another scram on us, we can always go back to the Vespa C 600s, and hopefully they'll get us out of that situation as well as well as the micro jump drive. So this ship is all about agility, um, escape, oh, of course it's got a cloak on there as well, um, it's about escape, agility, um, cargo capacity and endurance. So hopefully we're going to go on a long long voyage and I'll do a series of videos that um, track that voyage from start to finish. I hope you enjoy it tune in for more and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much bye